From the Vampire Diaries to the distilleries here in Bourbon Country, Ian Summerhalder, uh, one of the co-stars of the Vampire Diaries for, I believe, eight years, right? Eight years. Eight yeah. years, a great show. We aired it right here, still got a great following. And now you're in the bourbon business. How did that happen? The thing about it is, is that then I end up on this TV show. It happened to be, do pretty well. No, better than pretty well. Uh, and living in Atlanta for eight years, and mm -hmm. Paul Wesley and I, my partner, we've been talking about this for 10 years. Okay. We're on this TV show. Our characters, other than wanting to kill each other, are in love with the same mortal girl. The one thing they do really have in common is bourbon. My character drank bourbon at seven in the morning. He was a total lush, but he really appreciated and enjoyed bourbon, and that's what he was known for. So Paul and I, we've been talking about this, this is 10 years in the making, mm -hmm. talking about how we could do this. And then Paul and I found that perfect sweet spot and we knew now is the time to go. Uh, obviously this takes a long time, it's four years in a barrel, uh, a lot of patience, but this was 14 months of blending, morning, noon, and night, to get this, what we call an equal sensory proportion. All those grains are expressed over your palate but in total balance and harmony. As you got this project going, there were probably certain things that you really liked in a bourbon, certain things that you didn't yeah. like. How did that whole process go in arriving at what it was that you wanted to do with your bourbon? Two things we needed. Immediate approachability right out of the bottle. Right. Right. Uh, for, for a Gen Z or a millennial who maybe brown spirits aren't their drink of choice. Right immediate approachability. How can they just pour, or my 70-year-old mom or my 80-year-old dad can literally pour this out of a bottle into a glass and drink it. But the number two part was a complexity that an avid bourbon drinker could appreciate. Someone who knows bourbon could drink this bourbon and say, wow, this is complex and nuanced enough that I really appreciate it. So to find that balance took a long time um, a lot of obsessive long nights and Paul and I sitting, you know, in my kitchen, living room, in my office, by the fire. Hey, let's go out on the barn. Let's sit out by the pool. Let's... It never, ever stopped. And what we found was, well, we got this. This isn't celebrity, right. trying not to use that word, driven. This is celebrity owned. This is celebrity created. But it's about passion. There's an interesting thing about passion. It goes back to purpose, right? Sure. Every single one of us are out there, and not to be too cerebral or esoteric right. about it, but we're all looking for purpose. Right. But what's the definition of purpose? What's the formula for purpose? The way you get purpose is when you marry skill with passion. Yep. And that's how you find purpose. And our purpose became this bourbon, because tied to this is not just our families, but we want to build a legacy brand that is a 50-generation brand, and with that, building the first truly, truly regenerative spirits company in the world, meaning changing the way business is done. Regenerative agriculture, we know scientifically, will stop climate change in its tracks. I mean, literally put it in our rear view mirror. And that is the idea of giving the consumer, empowered consumerism is what's gonna change the world. And the only thing that we can really do right now is sequester carbon dioxide, stick it in the ground where it belongs, and feed families and build the largest regenerative agricultural economy in the world. Ian, thanks so much. Uh, congratulations. Best of luck on this. Uh, Thank you. The nationwide rollout is in progress right now. And here in Central Kentucky, of course, you can find this at uh, Liquor Barn and, of course, all across the state at Liquor Barn and Party Mart. And we're coming back with more Everyday Kentucky right after this.